Good morning, Lego fans. This is Bricks on a Budget coming to you with a video, a very special video. Welcome to Dead Dreams. So in this video, we are going to make some zombies. We got a bunch of minifigures that we got multiples of, of a Lego original franchise called Dreams. So I'm going to be calling this video, obviously, Dead Dreams. So at any rate, I got some Lego heads from our friends over in Washington, Brick Tactical. Uh, check out BrickTactical.com. Um, he, he is not uh, funding this video whatsoever, but I absolutely love his work, and I figured I'd give him a shout out. He has awesome minifigures, awesome minifigure parts. He has weapons, accessories that he makes right there in Washington. Uh, very, very cool guy. Usually I get my stuff that I order from him within a week. And he has a lot of really cool zombie and zombie head packs. Um, very, very cool stuff. Go check him out when you get a chance. That being said, that is where I got my zombie parts or my zombie heads. I got all kinds of heads here for different zombies. And I got other stuff in here. This is my, my drawer of uh, custom, custom heads. Check out all these zombie heads. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I got bunch of other different heads from other different head packs that Brick Tactical did as well. Pretty crazy, pretty creepy stuff. Um, got these really cool um, heads here. Yeah, all kinds of really cool stuff. So at any rate, I'm going to grab a couple different uh, head packs here. And we're going to make ourselves some zombies real quick let me see if i have any Ooh, kind of like those okay so without further ado let's get right into it for some of these, it's going to just be a simple head swap. So you got Cooper here. Let's get, actually, let's, let's leave him with the shovel because that makes it a little bit more fun. You know, he's really digging it. <laughs> Bad joke. Dad joke. I get it. So, woo, look at that. He got mushed up, man. Give him his hair back. Boom. Jean-Marie Coupe. Let's see if I can't get that to adjust. Ooh, yeah. That's gory. <laughs> He's got gloves on, so I don't have to swap out his hands. So that's a plus. Her, she is super bright. Super bright hair. Let's get rid of her uh, brush there. because She ain't going to need that no more. And, uh, yeah. So with her, it's going to be a hand swap and a head swap, unfortunately. I can get the hands out. Holy moly. That's really rough. I don't know why, but her hands are really stuck in there. Wow. Oh, jeez. That's hurting my fingers. The other one came out pretty good, pretty easily. All right, so let's see what head we want for her. All right, and for the hands, I did the same like grayish colored hands. I had to order the hands off of Bricklink, just FYI. Uh, oh yeah so i got repeats of all these minifigures so in in our house when we got repeats of major minifigures uh characters or whatever we make them into zombies so we got like harry potter zombies we got ninjago zombies we got a superman zombie you know you name it if they came in a whole bunch of sets we probably tried to make uh, zombies out of them. Now her, she's going to be a little bit more difficult because she's got the arms 
hands, and a head swap. I'm probably going to let her keep the pitchfork because, you know, a zombie with a pitchfork is kind of fun. I don't know. So we're going to put her hair off to the side. We're going to take her pitchfork for now. But yeah, we're going to have to rip her head off. We're going to have to rip her arms off. And uh, luckily, I had some extra gray arms. I uh, just happen to have from... I get... I used to get a lot of used lots to get extra parts for, for building with Lego. And so I found a lot of like arms and hands. And so long story short, I just happen to have this extra set of gray arms. So this is going to work awesome for her. They're a little stiff, honestly. And, uh, There we go. So now we got her arms on. Now we got to pick her ahead. Hmm. So I kind of like this one. All right. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And these are actually printed on actual Lego heads, just FYI, if I hadn't already said so. Um, yeah, he gets actual Lego heads and he prints these prints on top of on, onto the head. So these are actual Lego heads that Brick Tactical does, just FYI. And um, they come in packs of 10 and they're, they're just very high quality, very awesome. This is something, like, Lego has done zombies in the past, but they definitely wouldn't make them this gory. Oh. Where's her, where's her, let's give her her pitchfork back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And we can't forget the main guy. Unfortunately, I don't really have a head that's going to match his head in the zombie version, but um, we're going to make him into a zombie anyhow. I don't know if I should let him keep his pencil or not. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Ooh, this actually kind of... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I just need two more hands. Yeah, and when I knew I wanted to do zombies after I found the brick tactical heads, I ordered like a hundred of these gray hands. Just to... <laughs> this one guy had so many, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna order a hundred because I know I'm gonna want to make a lot of zombies. And uh, so yeah, and then we're gonna put his hair back on. I guess for now, I'm going to go ahead and let him have his pencil. So, there we are. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Show you each of them again real quick. Come on, focus. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, we've done a lot of zombies. At some point, I'm going to do an update video if you guys are interested to see all the different zombies. I'll probably have to do several update videos on the, on the zombies. Come on, focus. Come on, Coop. Focus. There we go. There's Coop. So there are those four major characters from Dreams in zombie mode. And I really want to do her, but I don't think they make her arms. I don't think they make these weird arms in that gray color yet, unfortunately. So I can't do her yet, which is unfortunate. 
that and I'd have to find a zombie head with some sort of glasses to try to get as close to her as possible. And that would be cool to have all of them in zombie mode. But, because I have a couple of her now. But, oh well, Miss Castillo will have to wait. Maybe one day she can be a zombie too. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I just decided to do something a little fun. And I figure, you know, there's a bunch of zombie fans out there. And it's unfortunate that uh, Lego hasn't done more with zombies. Um, I would love to see a zombie original theme, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. The closest I think we ever got to it was like Monster Fighters back in the day. Um, but at any rate, I love zombies. I love Lego. And I decided to combine them. And thanks to BrickTactical.com, I've been able to do exactly that. So go check him out. Uh, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for future notifications. Tell me down in the comments, you know, what you think of this. And uh, let me know who else would you like to see be a zombie in Lego. So at any rate, this is Bricks on a Budget telling you all get built. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.